What's up rogues? This is the White Jackal here coming at you with another skin video. This time we're talking about Star Spangled, the rare melee wrap. And it looks really good. This is actually one of my favorites, I think. It just is really cool, very arcadey, very fun, and it does have a glow effect in game that you'll notice in dark rooms. But uh yeah, let's check it out on the rest of the melee weapons and then get into it. So we've all seen the katana already, but let's just look at it again and it looks really nice. I actually like this. It's a very smooth skin. It looks really good, honestly. There's so much lines and activities going on with it that it doesn't seem like it's blocky anyway or boring. It's very exciting skin. And for my favorite weapon, the throwing axe. It looks good. It looks very good. I wouldn't change a thing about it. Normally I like two tones to these things. But with something like this, I feel like it's just best being a full cover. It just has so much going on. Not half bad. Now we got one last melee weapon because of the new character. And that's this thing. Look at this. Awesome. Can't deny that. It looks cool. I'm not a fan of the gold on this one, actually. But it actually still looks really good in game, I think. So we're going to check out these weapons real quick in some matches. See how they actually look, how they are used. And if they're actually enjoyable in the gameplay. So let's hop into that. And first off, we got the baseball bat, and it looks really nice. I'm liking it. It does not look bad at all, honestly. It looks really good in game. Ooh, a double knockdown with the bat. That's sort of cool about the bat. It can actually bounce off of targets and actually uh, get ricochet kills. So that's sort of a bonus. But yeah, not bad. And the skin stays attached now, so now we can do things like this. Let's get some swings in. Oh, we got two of them. Not bad. But yeah, I like this skin. It looks really good. On Dallas's back, it looks nice. It works out with this skin. Not half bad. I do like it in game, actually. What do you guys think of this skin? Is it worth getting? I honestly think it is. It looks really good. I think it'll go well with Dahlia, who we'll check out right now, actually. Yeah, look at that on her back. With this arcade, like the Unicorn Dahlia skin. It looks nice. It's a good, fun skin. Oh, there's a demon right there. He seems like he's AFK. Oh yeah, he AFK. Well, for this purpose, it's actually useful. Get the swings in. It looks really nice. Pretty clean, honestly. Let's get a throw. There we go. Not bad. Honestly, yeah. It's a really nice skin. Pick it up one more time. Look at that thing. It has so much detail to it. It looks awesome. And last but not least, Kestrel. Let's get melees in. Ooh, they're deking us. Oh, but we hit harder. I like Kestrel's knife when it's thrown. It looks really cool. But yeah, this skin's nice. But anyways, I give a rating on all these skins in the end. And I think this one is a 9 out of 10. Because even though it's priced a little high, I think it's completely worth it. Great look to it. But I feel like something's missing from it still. Like, it doesn't go with all the skins. It has those little gaps to it. And I hope that eventually once it comes out with more colorful skins, we'll be able to rate this thing a little bit higher. Alright, thanks for watching Rogues, and I'll catch you in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe.